I think HTMX is one of the most exciting pieces of technology to hit the web development ecosystem in the last decade. I'm extremely excited about the potential, and if you're a web developer, you should stick around because by the end of this video, I think you'll be just as excited as I am. But before we talk about HTMX, we need to talk about a certain term, hypermedia systems. If that term is not familiar to you, don't worry, just sit back, relax, and let daddy fill that brain of yours with some knowledge. Hypermedia systems are the basic building blocks of the web as we know it. Back in the day, web developers would primarily use hypertext markup language, HTML, to display things to our users on a hypermedia client, namely the browser. We could then interact with our APIs using the hypertext transfer protocol, or HTTP, and our APIs would return hypermedia in the form of HTML. All of these components are hypermedia systems, and it's how we've developed web applications for decades, and in many cases still do. Over time, hypermedia systems have fallen out of favor, but why? Well, basically, HTML hasn't changed much in the last few decades. There are still only two tags you can use in HTML to communicate with a server, the anchor tag and the form tag. In the 90s, when we were listening to Destiny's Child on our Walkmans, wearing tiny sunglasses, and talking on our car phones, JavaScript started to fill in the gaps of HTML's lack of functionality, and web developers started to rely more and more heavily on JavaScript for building UI-rich applications. Now, JavaScript is really great, and obviously the web has flourished because of it, not in spite of it, but there are some issues with JavaScript being used as a system for building applications on the web. The main issue is that JavaScript in the client has a tight coupling to the logic in the API. Instead of HTML being returned by our APIs, we are returning JSON data. The JavaScript in the client needs to know how to parse this data after every call, and depending on the logic, will display certain things to the end user. There are also other pieces like a JavaScript router, JavaScript logic for deep linking, etc. Essentially, JavaScript is reinventing the wheel by re-implementing core browser functionality. In a typical hypermedia app, the whole document is replaced with whatever hypermedia was returned, like HTML. There is no coupling between the front-end client and the API in a web app built on hypermedia systems. So what is HTMX? HTML HTMX is basically a library that brings everything back to hypermedia. HTMX extends HTML to add more modern functionality, essentially trying to fill the gaps that led to JavaScript taking everything over. So why is this a good thing? Well, let's take a look at a simple example in the form of a button tag. In a full JavaScript app, you would add an event listener to a button. Then you take the response of the server and call another function to update your UI with the response data. In this example, the JavaScript is really tightly coupled to the logic from the API because it needs to know what piece of UI to show depending on what data was returned. With HTMX, we merely tell the browser to replace a piece of the UI with whatever HTML was returned from the server. Our API responds with HTML, and the front end doesn't care what's returned, it just replaces a piece of the UI wholesale with whatever it got. And I think this is a great approach, because your logic now lives solely in your API, which is a great way to structure your web applications. The front end should be dumb and the API should be smart. Not to mention, you get tons of great stuff for free, like server rendered content, SEO, caching, deep linking, properly working back and forward buttons, basically everything that already existed in the browser that's been clumsily re-implemented by JavaScript frameworks in the last handful of years. I think this is a really amazing approach to building web applications, and I'm extremely excited for a future of simpler and easier to build and extend web apps. HTMX is definitely a step in the right direction, and I'm pumped to see what's next. Now, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe, or not, whatever. Either way, thanks nerds.